Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures in Aviators. Today we're going to, oh, here we go, Kovalkikova Polana. I have absolutely no idea if I'm saying that correctly, but it is a wonderful little spot in the high Tatras mountains of Slovakia. As always, we'll be ranking this on our five categories of location, trail traffic, plants and wildlife, facilities, and the payoff. And of course, we'll be ranking each of those categories on a scale of one to five aviators. Five aviators. So where is this lovely hike that I'm not gonna try to pronounce once more? Well, it is near Poprad, Slovakia, near the High Tatras Mountains. Poprad is the main city that you're gonna most likely come into. It's a beautiful little touristy spot. We were here in May, which was definitely shoulder season. There were not many people around at all, which certainly uh, affected our experience. The closest village to this hike is Tatranska Luminica, which is just to the south along Road 537. Now, Michelle and I were staying outside of this area and we ended up uh, taking a train into that little village and then we hiked over on a separate trail, but I'm just gonna tell you about the main trail, which we would take if we had a car. And we'll talk more about parking, et cetera, here in a little bit. But the nice thing is, is that this does match up with a road that people can no longer use. And so it's really easy to find and it intersects right there with 537. So it's really easy to find and you see plenty of signs. There's also a bus route that connects to this place. So if you are there without a vehicle and you know the bus routes, you can get there as well. So because of its ease of location and access to bus routes, we're gonna give this four out of five aviators. For plants and wildlife, as you make your way up this hike, you will see lots of trees, you'll see lots of beautiful mountains. There follows a uh, river that goes alongside of it. And depending on what time of year, it could be very snowy. It gets uh, very snowy here. It's quite the ski resort. Um, but we were here in spring and we saw beautiful flowers and a couple, a little bit of wildlife as well. Uh, I'm gonna give this three out of five aviators for plants and wildlife. For trail traffic, again, it does depend on what time of year you are here, but the parking at the base of the mountain does fill up very quickly uh, during any kind of a peak season. So be prepared for that. This, can't, this area can get very busy depending on what time of year you are here. Of course, you know what I'm gonna say. Go early to avoid the people. Now, when we were here in May, and this was a couple years back, uh, it was not that busy, but we did see uh, several people along the path, but it wasn't anything that really put us off. And so I'm gonna give this four out of five aviators. For facilities, this is a really nice, well-marked path. You're not gonna get lost in this area by any stretch. There are really good signs. I mentioned parking before. There is parking at the base uh, right there off of the road, but it is paid parking. And the most recent uh, stuff that I can find says that it's actually 10 euros a day to park here. So that's pretty pricey. And the parking lot's not even that big. But uh, that is the opportunity that you have here is to park there, or again, you could take the bus. There are nice bridges as you go along uh, to help you cross the river, and so that's all very nice. So I'm gonna give this four out of five aviators. So what's the payoff like in this area? Well, there are mountains all around, but really this hike is all about the river. You are kind of uh, paralleling the river as you go up, and it is a really pretty river. You'll see some of the pictures that we enjoyed here. Uh, just some great spots to stop and relax and hang out. But there are several paths in this area as well, so I encourage you to check out all of them. And of course, leave any feedback that you have in the comments below. Again, we didn't especially know where we were going on this day. We just kind of happened upon this trail and it was really nice. So I'm gonna give it three out of five aviators. If you make your way into Eastern Europe, I definitely would recommend checking out the High Tatras. They are a beautiful little area. Uh, just some amazing food in this region as well. Uh, we had a great time. Again, we were here during off season, so we felt like we had the whole place to ourselves, but I know that this place certainly fills up uh, during certain times of year. If you spent time in this area and have any suggestions, I encourage you again to put those in the comments below. Always leave this place cleaner than you found it so we can enjoy it for future generations, and we'll see you next time.